Good evening, blessings to you all. We'll begin with a short guided meditation. <clears throat> Please sit comfortably, whether on a chair or on the floor, with a cushion if you need. Try to sit up straight. The Buddha said, sit up straight, hold your back erect, hold your head erect, and establish mindfulness in front of you. <laughs> Literally, you can bring your attention maybe to the tip of your nostrils if you're not sure where to focus your mind as you meditate. Find that spot at the tip of your nostrils where the breath goes in and the breath goes out. To find that, you may take a few deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the air rushing in, the air rushing out. This is the most normal activity of a human being. Before anything else, we need breath. The breath is synonymous with life. If you're not breathing, then either you're in deep jhana or you're dead, <laughs> in which case you wouldn't be hearing me anyway. So every day, every moment, every day we're breathing. But most of the time we miss the breath. We're not mindful of our breathing. Our mind is settling on other things. Most of the time we're just with thinking, the thinking mind. <laughs> Becoming distracted lost in our thoughts or conversation. Maybe doing things, seeing, hearing. But now we're bringing attention back to this body in the present moment. using the breath as a point of focus, a point of mindfulness. It could be at the tip of the nostrils or the chest or the abdomen. So if it helps, you follow the feeling of the breath coming in at the nose and follow it down to your chest, <clears throat> to your abdomen. Notice your chest swell up as it fills with air. Notice your abdomen rise with the in-breath. Then your abdomen falls with the out-breath. Your chest deflates. Then the air goes back out at the tip of your nose. And this is bringing your mind inwards, gathering attention inwards. Because all day long we've let our mind wander out through thinking, looking, hearing, talking. And we expend a lot of energy on all of that. So mentally we get quite tired. Physically we may be tired from a lot of activity as well. But mentally, our mind has gone outwards all day because mindfulness is fairly weak. So we just run with every bit of sense stimulation. So you hear a sound, your mind goes to the ears. You know, What's that? You see something in front of you, you're looking at that on a screen or just 
in front of you. If there's nothing much coming up on the outside, then it will be your own memories and thoughts popping into the mind, one after another. And this tires us out mentally and makes our mindfulness weaker all the time when we're not practicing or training. Our mindfulness remains fairly weak. We pay, pay attention for a few moments and then it's gone. We may think we're mindful. We think we know what we're doing, where we're going. But really the level of mindfulness is quite, quite weak. We're only semi-aware, partially aware. And because we're only partially aware, we tend to accumulate the causes of suffering. Because as we see things, hear things, taste things, smell, and remember all of that, the mind gets caught up in craving, attachment. Often we experience stress. As we begin to establish stronger mindfulness, firmer, brighter states of mind as we bring attention to the breathing. We are getting less lost in our, all these sense impressions and thoughts. So the mind begins to rest. As you gain rest, then you actually gain energy. And as your mindfulness becomes more continuous on the in and out breath, you will experience what we call one-pointedness of mind, eka, kata, jitta. So your aim is just to know the breath in and the breath out, breath after breath after breath. If your mind goes away, bring it back. If you start drifting off into sleepiness, then sit up straight, maybe open your eyes, re-establish awareness. If you get lost in some memories, as soon as you realize, bring your attention back to the breath. Make the breath the focus of everything you're doing right now. That's what you're knowing. Knowing the beginning of the breath, the middle of the breath, the out breath. If you start thinking about the future, planning, wanting something, expecting something, waiting for something, just bring it back to the breath. Bring the attention back to the breath, knowing the breath in, the breath out. You're observing your mind. You see how your mind runs around, chasing after thoughts, planning, worrying, concerned about so many things. But now you're letting that go, coming back to the present moment. A really pleasant thought arises, that's okay, but don't get lost in it. Just know it and then let it go. If 
a really unpleasant thought comes up. You're angry, irritated. Just know it and then let it go. You're developing this awareness in the middle of your experience. You know the thoughts, but then you let them go. Every thought arises, ceases. Every sensation arises, ceases. But what's left is this quality of knowing. What Lumpur Cha called the one who knows. Just in the center of your experience. And we can carry on doing that for a little bit longer till you hear the sound of the bell. <laughs> 